There's something odd about the pairing of Bruce Banner and Pepper Potts in this movie. Thanks for Sharing is a movie about addiction, but overall the movie focuses on sex addiction and it shows how it can affect people in, in many different stages of life. So Tim Robbins is the oldest character and it seems like he's been dealing with this longest, so he seems to be the most put together. Mark Ruffalo's character really looks up to him and he's also doing well himself. Josh Gad, on the other hand, is just making a mess of his life. But there are three different plot lines surrounding these characters that just run parallel throughout the movie. Tim Robbins is uh, trying to reconnect with his son, who is a former, who is a recovering drug addict, played by Patrick Fugit, who is great in this movie. Mark Ruffalo is uh, starting a relationship with Gwyneth Paltrow, and she's inadvertently kind of bringing him to places where he doesn't want to go when their relationship becomes physical. And then we have Josh Gad, who's probably the worst off at the start of this movie, and he kind of starts this platonic relationship with another sex addict, played by Alicia Moore. Platonic friendship. This was probably the uh, best of the three storylines, in my opinion. And plot isn't isn't probably the best word to use when talking about this movie, because like we're just following all these characters for about a month and a half, and it really just transitions between character to character. Like here's what Tim's Robin is up to with his wife and son. Here's what Mark Ruffalo is doing, and then here's what the here's a scene with the two of them together. And it doesn't take the super dark tone of shame. This movie's more of a comedy drama, except it really has a hard time balancing the two and. I think the, dra the drama fared a lot better than the comedy. I might have chuckled once or twice, but I really didn't like this movie's sense of humor. Nothing funny really happens, it's just characters who think they're funny just trying to make each other laugh. And it's a kind of, you'd have to be there to laugh kind of humor. And then there's a lot of reference humor, like one character just goes, Dude, you're going all Jack Bauer on me. And that joke was funny then, but they make it like ten more times in this movie, Just they just use a different name. Um, I did appreciate the unintentional Avengers jokes, knowing that Bruce Banner has this side to him that he kind of has to keep buried, and then you're just waiting for him to hulk out on some girl. Uh, that's kind of bad. And But overall, this is a movie that's just there. Like, I can just put this on and watch it and not really care too much. It occasionally irritated me, but then it would occasionally get me back into it with like a good dramatic scene. And you do leave with like a better idea of just how bad sex addiction can be and the other destructive habits that it could lead to. But I, I do think the movie does falter in its climax because it focuses on a character you know almost nothing about, and you can kind of infer where some of that stuff came from, but it's at the same time it's pretty random still. And I thought the ending was kind of rushed, and that's the reason I ended up liking the uh, Josh Gad storyline as much as I did, because it wasn't affected by that. Whereas you're going to have a few more questions about Mark Ruffalo and Tim Robbins' characters. So I'm kind of coming down on the middle of this one, um, but I did like it more than I didn't. So that's going to be my review for Thanks for Sharing. If you've seen it or have any questions about this movie, feel free to comment. And if you like this review and you want to see more, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.